Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. In this one, we have the newest mini art release, uh, the Gaz AAA cargo truck, which is depicted, on, at least on the box, in a kind of German uh, colored, uh, maybe captured unit with uh, a, uh, some German figures that are included, including a driver and some standing figures outside the truck. Um, this was originally, I believe, a Ford vehicle that was lend leased to Russia and it was produced by Russians uh, during the war, uh, manufactured during the, by the Soviets during the war. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at it, shall we? Now this is similar to the uh, private previous release, which we had was a Gaz MM truck. And uh, this one uh, does have some different, obviously a lot of differences to it. The other truck was uh, a somewhat uh, like single headlamp, um, different cargo bay, different cargo section on the, for the rear. Um, it had one piece of photo, actually this one has two, so, uh, oops, and one fell down. Let me see if I think it's the same, it's essentially the same photo, actually I'll just show the one. Uh, get it to focus in here for us. There we go. Oh, kind of flipped around, so I can read it anyways. I reworked my camera now, so I, I, I actually see them the way you do. Nice, huh? All right, I'll leave both those in there for safety's sake. And then we've got a decal sheet. Now, this one obviously includes decals for a German captured unit, as well as, I believe, a Soviet unit. Uh, we'll take a look at that in the instructions, but I'll briefly peek at that in advance. And we have the same, looks like, actually, no, not the same, because the other one just had one headlamp, a uh, plastic one. So it does have different... Definitely different clear plastic. This part looks different to me too. So maybe they are separate, completely separate kits. I thought they were going to share some parts, but so far I'm not seeing much shared. These door pieces, for instance, were not in the other one because the other one doesn't have doors. Um, and then uh, I think this is another additional, it's very small uh, little uh, pieces. So I've got some rolls there for maybe the windows. Um, and again, this is a duplicated piece of the one I just showed a minute ago, and this is also a duplicated piece of the one I just showed before that. All right, now this does actually look similar in terms of the bed and the um, nice wood grain effect, double-sided uh, in terms of uh, texture. These do look similar to the other one, so maybe the same the same wheels and and uh, tread. And the tread is, if I can get it to zoom in is obviously on this one very thin piece, which um, I'm not sure how they're doing that with the, the the total tread. I guess the wheel, no, the wheels aren't that crap. I'll have to investigate that. Oh, I see. You build up. Oh, I see. They're <laughs> clever. So um, obviously, call me dumb on this one, but, but obviously you're putting the one external piece on, then all these pieces connect together to form a solid tire. So... Um, essentially, they obviously plastic instead of rubber, but instead of having, as some manufacturers have done, where you have like separate external pieces that go around, this one is actually building up kind of a um, uh, a layered approach to the to the uh, the tire itself, or the yeah, the tire, not the wheel. So uh, another piece. Duplicate. These are four four of these, uh, five of these. Excuse me. I say one, two, three, six of these. Right? Yeah, six because it's a double double rear tire and and um, single in the front. And then uh, this has a different uh, setup here for the fenders and the roof, different than the other truck, obviously. And uh, here's some of the figures, or all the figures probably. And uh, they look good. They look a lot like the, well, I see some flash along this hand. Um, but otherwise, most of the other parts look good. Don't see oh, some flash over on this side too, on this hand. Um, but otherwise, the nice, very nice uh, texturing. I like the folds; they look good. Um, not sure if this figure set obviously is a, is a kind of an include from a previous release. I'm guessing that it is. Um, again, this is this one does look similar in terms of the chassis itself. Um, have to go compare to contrast. I mean, I can actually do that at the end of this video, so we'll actually see which parts are which. Um, all right, because we're getting to pretty much the end here. So this piece, again, um, seeing a little bit of flash here on the, the sprues themselves, but nothing actually in the, the plastic parts. So hopefully everybody's is the same. And uh, here's the instructions, which um, okay, over here. 
here. Uh, do include, you know, some information about the truck. Um, production of gas. Uh, AA was American truck Ford Timken during several production during the serial production 1934-1943 were produced at 37 3,000 uh, thir to 37,000 trucks. Um, pardon that noise. That's my dogs being bad. And we have uh, again a similar get this box down. Similar instruction sheet to most other yeah, releases. Very comprehensive though and well done as normal. Uh, I'm not seeing any complex issues here other than the, the tire thing. I thought that was interesting. And then on the back here we have um, several different uh, versions, some Russian versions, uh, German service version, which I guess is the one they're showing on the box cover. Um, and then on the back they show a winter I believe Russian Ukrainian front and then all, a unknown Eastern front summer 1942, obviously a German usage. And they do have, include some nice little signs down here too, which is nice variant of signs. All right. So let's take a look at those uh, other parts and see what, really what uh, compares. This was the Gaz uh, MM. And uh, if I won't get any of these crossed over, but obviously the figures are not the same. Um, the back uh, deck, let's see, those figures are not the same. Um, that's not the same. So the, I believe the tire, again, the tires and wheels were matches. Let's see, these um, also yeah, a, little, a little different. So, yeah, we definitely, so, so what looked the same, obviously, this was the release for the, the, uh, the MM, and this is the AAA. So they are actually different. Um, I'm sure you can see that really quickly, but, but yeah, different. So um, other than the wheels and tires, I think maybe the suspension piece. Let's see, this was the the MM, and this is the, and that is different too. So again, different. I, I see some some similar pieces, but they definitely uh, have uh, like on this one. I'm seeing bolts and a little more detail around that that. This specifically looking, here, let me bring this in a bit here. Uh, specifically looking at this this piece right here versus this piece, and they are actually different. So they didn't just move them around on the sprue; they they actually made them per what the vehicle probably needed. So, and then uh, this one obviously has completely different fenders than than this. And the other piece I was curious about was this one. And again, this one does look like it actually shares common pieces between the two. Uh, I'm not seeing any differences between the larger screw here with a lot of the, you know, side uh, uh, ventilation for the engine uh, pieces here and everything, everything looks the same. Yeah, yeah, everything looks the same. So, so they do share a few sprues uh, that are the same, but uh, a lot of it is unique and different. So we, I would check that out real quick, but uh, thanks for tuning into this one. And, uh, We've got a couple more coming up, so if you guys are watching these in sequence, you should have a few to watch.